one bite at a time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I try yeah. to intermix them together. You know what I mean? Just like my political views have to be exactly in the middle. Yeah, I yeah. I can't say, fuck Joe Biden or fuck Trump or, you know, like, if, if, I, if, if one of my supporters sends me a flag and it's like Trump... They got to send me a, a flag of, you know, uh, a Biden one. And I used to fly both flags, you know? Yeah. That way people can't say, well, why do you fly the Trump flag or why do you fly the Biden flag? I'll fly the flag for anybody that would change the laws on cannabis. Yeah, no, I understand that. But yeah, I know about the poor political prisoners and all. And man, our world's just gone to hell in a handbag. And that's just for, just for your First Amendment right. Like, it's even on paper, you know? It's not on paper. They're trying to take First and Second Amendment away totally. Yeah. If they don't get the idiots out of the White House, and I say idiots, here's my view on this. Um, I think Trump did a lot better things than what who's in office. But I think all politicians are alike. I yeah. really do. And every one of them in this whole administration has been at fault. If you used to put Trump in tomorrow, it's just going to be a big, big mess and chaos. Just because of all this stuff over the last few years. You need to get rid of every one of them. Every one of them. And start new because you know for so many years they just got together and this that and the other and whatnot and it's like a big tv show the elites playing all this out the next big thing will be when the aliens come watch have you been to area 51 <laughs> i lived in farmington new mexico okay. do i believe that there's extraterrestrials and stuff yes the bible tells you that in the chapter enoch which they left out it tells you about the big-headed people the giants that they're finding here and it tells you how that they gave man how to make it make up and stuff like that and, and, and arm themselves and stuff. That's okay. all in the book of Enoch. Which, how long, how long have you been on the road? I've been on the road nine years, 36 days. 36 days? States. States, okay. What states are you still missing? <laughs> well, two of them I'm missing. I'm doing this this year. Okay. It was Washington State. I want to go to the prison where Lance Galore is at. And uh, the other one will be Washington State because I haven't been there. Okay. And then I'll probably head back towards D.C. And maybe next winter come back out here. Where do you go in D.C.? Where do you go in D.C.? Oh, I, well, back in uh, 15, I had Pershing Park right next to the White House, and I did a march. Okay. In 2014, I held the very first cannabis event ever done at Mount Rushmore. Wow. Ross Don Meeks was my co-host. To a lot of people, that don't mean nothing. But to the Rastafarian, she's like a goddess. To win a case, they must be a, a, a first case, you know, the court heard. Who do you think the Rastafarians won their rights to marijuana off of? U.S. government versus Meeks, Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. She was granted the first testimony in front of a jury on the religious rights to cannabis. Wow. Yeah. And she happened to hear I was in town. When she got out of prison, she went underground and hid. Didn't want nothing to do with nobody, this, that, and the other. And when she heard that I happened to be up in Rapsi and Port, she come out, met me, come to the park, told me about Jack Herrera. I never knew about him and his teachings. He had already died. But uh, I'm so, yeah, and me, me, she was my co-host at Mount Rushmore, and it was a tribute to Jack Hara. And your legal name is 420 Jim? Yep, in 2019 in Tennessee, the judge declared my first name four, my middle name 20, and my last name Jim. Wow. How hard of a process is that? It's not at all. When I was in front of him, he said, you want your first name to be four? I said, yes, sir. Your middle twin I said, yes, sir. And your last Jim? I said, yes, sir. And he picked up the other one. So ordered. And everybody went kind of crazy in the courtroom. The first <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, now, now Mark Suckbird over Facebook, he won't let me be my legal name on his platform. And he lets a troll that I've had for three years trolling me now use my photo and stuff. And he photoshops, I touch boys and stuff. And he makes fake accounts and stuff. I've got people reporting them, and they don't do nothing about it. I've got all the returns that says it doesn't violate their community standards. I sued Walmart last year and I won. I'm going to sue Mark Zuckerberg this year. Oh, wow. What was the Walmart case over? Uh, I went there with the receipt to return an antenna and they told me I had to take a gift card. And I told them that was wrong. It was racial, but I couldn't prove the racial because I wouldn't lie in court. But it was very racial. It was in Georgetown, Georgia. Okay. Uh, Grovetown, Georgia. And we're on the way to D.C. We're raising awareness for the right on. J6 prisoners. Got to be careful up there really bad now because you know they do what they want the fbi is crooked and all now well everywhere they're picking fbi is still picking up people who were just sitting on the steps you know they were just there at the wrong place you the know wrong I, time. I watched that whole damn thing and how they twist and turn i don't know i did not see trump but see i'm neither trump or by the supporter yeah they want yeah i think they're all damn 
the wing nut is our Congress. You got your left wing, your right wing, and all the nuts in the middle. <laughs> That's our, our presidency. Top and all, all of them. Yeah. You know, I bet in the end, you will find out that all of them are together. They have to be, because the goal is one world order. That's right. How come yeah, all yeah. these countries get together and stuff yeah, every yeah. year and whatnot? They just did. They just did in Davos. But yeah, but, but yet they're fighting. Come on, people, wake up. That's their way of making money. They fund this one, they fund this one to fight each other and all the billion dollars that they're making stuff. It's just, yeah. <laughs> all to keep us down. Yeah, yeah. It's all about control. Yeah, they're up on. Yeah, yeah. Now, if, if we... Power, profit, and control. <laughs> what was it? Uh, I don't know if it's the Bugs Life. There's one of that children movie that every... Uh, yeah, the Bugs Ant's Life. Ants Life or... <laughs> Bugs or, Life. Okay, I yeah, it was Bugs Ant. Life, yeah. It's Bugs Life. People need to smoke a joint and watch that movie. There's a real important message yeah. in it. Where the guy says, hey, when they realize that they outnumber us, you know. So, We're done. Yeah, There's the grasshoppers, uh, I think. <laughs> yeah. Trying to control the ants. And as uh, so. soon as, uh, but you know, like, okay, a lot of people, Elon Musk and whatnot. <clears throat> you know that man could change his world tomorrow by doing one thing? Shutting down the government portal? No. You just, you, you just put a mass message on your Twitter and all of everything. Like say, July 4th, Independence Day. Every trucker that calls in sick for that week and don't go to work, I will make your paycheck. I will pay you. You, you will get paid. Because yeah. all these truckers and stuff, they can't shut down because they can't afford bills and stuff. But I guarantee you, if, if they were guaranteed pay, well over half of them would shut down and what the hell well, would that guaranteed do? guaranteed pay, I, I, hey, <laughs> I don't need to haul, I can get paid. Yeah, yeah. And, and if you do it relaxing. right, you call and sick, whatever, they can't fire everybody. See, that's the whole thing. If we'd all stand together, look, all these people are suing them over the mandated vaccine and stuff now. The guy in Florida, I used to hate Florida. I grew up there. I love the governor there now. Man, that guy needs to be in these other states. He just now wrote into law, no vaccine passports in Florida, uh, no, va no ma uh, mandated vaccine. He got rid of all that shit. He's been real good about that. Yeah. In the beginning, he wasn't, but he's real good about it. Like, uh, yeah, he was I better mean, than most in the beginning. Oh, he, he's what he we was got better than now. Most. I know, but right in the beginning, he wasn't. But now, but he has, but he's been the best. Now, I think, I think if we went ahead and put Trump back in, they would be nothing. But for not, but now you take someone uh, like the governor of Florida, you know, and put him in. It'd be new blood and all. They couldn't put everything on him. And yet, you know, he's a Trump supporter, whatever him and Trump get along. And I think that's what they need to do. They need to move on to the next candidate. Like-minded like Trump, because I liked him when Trump was in office so far as, yeah, you know. Is. I never seen what they told me. You know, him grabbing him, him this, him that. Everything they said, I never seen. Yeah. Anyone and everyone that gets into that high office are going to be controlled. You're a puppet. It doesn't matter. You're a puppet. Yeah. They have to be controlled. They're not going to be allowed to But really that's why it. they come up with the Q on and this. I think Trump, really, honestly, I think he doesn't feel good. I, th I think he tried. Hello. Hey. Yeah. No problem. Hello. See, he's got cameras all over his bus. So you said you're on the way to D.C.? Well, first when I leave here, I'm going to try and go to, um, there's a federal prison in Oregon, near Portland, I think. That's where Lance Glore is. Here's a guy that had a legal dispensary in Washington State, complied with everything. Mm -hmm. and they kept harassing him about his growers, who was he buying from, and he wouldn't tell them. So basically, he wouldn't snitch on three growers. They took his business, his money, everything he had, put him in federal prison for 10 years. Ten years. Ten years. He's, this is his ninth year right now. And, you know, with the COVID, I might not be able to see him, but I'm going to go up there and park outside the prison, put my flags out, and at least take a picture cool. that his parents can send it into him. Because he, his parents and him have been following me for quite a while. How old is the guy? Is he? Uh, well, I don't know his exact age. I'd be lying. Yeah, but he's a younger guy, you yeah, know. Guy. Yeah. What year did he go in? 
Uh, he, this is his ninth year. Oh wow! And so he's gonna serve. Two thousand four. He can do every day of federal time. But he'll be out soon. Uh, at least date somewhere in twenty four. Okay. Yeah. I just, you know, it's been That's tugging crazy. at my heart to go. I was going to go there at the end of last year. They got too cold, and so I came south. So this year I'm going to go straight up there, and then I'll probably I might stop at Mount Rushmore and pull a permit for another event there, and go to Washington do an event, then do one at Mount Rushmore on the way back. I I don't know. Okay. Right now the main thing is to get up to uh, Washington State and Oregon, and that'd be uh, 37 and 38 state. Okay. Now we're taking a slow roll to D.C. like the southern route, stay kind of warm and there kind of go. spread awareness. And then I was actually banned from the prison there in D.C. because I was um, questioning the guards as they were coming in and out from work. So one of them assaulted um, one of the J6ers and now he's missing an eye from being assaulted in there wow. by one of the guards. And um, so I was questioning them about the fentanyl getting in there. And most of the guards would walk by, they wouldn't say a thing, they would just ignore me. And I'll, okay, that's your right. Keep walking. And this one guard finally one day comes at me, rips my phone off my tripod, and pushes me. And I call the police, and they take me to jail. I was shoot them and the police. Yeah, they can't do that. Yeah. They can tell you and I have can. it on camera. Oh, like thousands of people but, saw it yeah. on YouTube. And I went to jail. I tried to file charges after I got out, and they said you can't because a report's already been filed. <laughs> and it says you assaulted him. And then I even had to go to the judge because they filed a um, anti-stalking order on me. Or I couldn't go to the jail anymore. I can't buy a weapon for a year. And um, the judge there in that hearing says, well, you should have given him any... Like, I literally walked like 12 feet away to give him clear space to walk, um, go on his way. And he came directly at me on camera, multiple angles of camera. But where were you at? In D.C.? Yeah, yeah but where? At oh, at the, at the jail. At the jail. Where? Um... On 1901 property? D Street, yeah, uh, on their property. Yeah. But it was it was public property because you go into you can put money on the books inside the building. They have like a kiosk yeah, that's there. Not, if you was out on the sidewalk, you could have sued the hell out of them. Anytime you do a protest or something, it's got to be on the, the easement. What they call yeah, the easement. yeah. You can't block the easement. You can't go out the road like all. The, that's why they're taking protest away because all these black like, like, idiots go out the road and stuff. You can't do that. I'm one of the oldest protesters have been. My mom was murdered in Sarasota, Florida in the late 80s and they let her murder her go. And that kind of started my protest here and there. And I, let me tell you, you know, that everything's got a right way and a wrong way. And if these people would stay out of the street and stuff, the point would be a lot better. You, your was, okay, like this is public property, right? It's open for you and the public to come, right? Yeah. You can't come protest here. Yeah, but right there okay. on the sidewalk, so if you, yeah. yeah, on the sidewalk you can. <laughs> Or, we can or, have we can have bullhorns or whatever we want. Well, right? then they get into your noise ordinance and stuff. Yeah, and they have to, in D.C. I know for a fact they got to bring the health department out there to check the decibel rating, and the health department never shows up. So when you tell the police the law, how they have to go through these certain steps, they just leave. You was on his prompt. You and you got to be you got to be in a residential that. too. Residential. Yeah, it's, it's try that out on the sidewalk. See, even if they tell and, you can't go to that jail. I, I would be there the next day on the sidewalk. He was on the sidewalk. He's well, yeah, sidewalk. yeah, but I got I got to stay away from his place of work, his house, his car. It was a whole list. I can't say his name on the internet. <laughs> like I got I got his name gag ordered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, DC is not the United States. So exactly. There's no justice there. Yeah, it's it's a district. Country. Why do we let another whole entity run our country? What was the people thinking? You know. We didn't let them. Nobody told us. Nobody knows. We're trying to I, you know, a lot of people don't know that Washington, D.C. They don't That's know. why they're trying to make it a state. Yeah. I haven't heard much about that in the last year or so, but they were trying to make it a well, state. Last year they were trying to do it. Yeah. Hey, man, I think we're going to move on. Or just... Yeah, it was great talking to you, man. Hey, yeah. thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, I appreciate what y'all doing trying to, to get the political prisoners and stuff. Because you know, they haven't even had trial. You know, some of them actually did go in and graffiti or even take a crap inside the Capitol, things like that. They need to be, they need to be charged. They should be punished, yes. They should yes. be charged yes. and punished. They're not being charged. They're sitting there waiting for trial two years later. You know, they're not even getting they charged. They get time served, da-da-da, by the time it comes up. Yeah. yeah. 
And a lot of them sitting there waiting on their trial are innocent. Not everybody, well, I mean, but most of them are innocent. Just, uh, they're not felonies. And, the, and they don't have anything on their record. Like, they don't have any misdemeanors. They have a clean record before this. Some of them are actually sheriffs. In Firefighters, in veterans. Remember we went to that guy? Were you with us? We went downtown, and the guy was being charged with the... He was a sheriff from Colorado. Yeah. Yeah. He was being uh, sentenced that day. I think he's out now. Well, look what they're trying to do to the governor of Florida and stuff because, you know, he stands up against them all. Anybody that stands up against them, they want to take down. Oh, yeah. They're like, how dare you? Yeah. How That's dare you? FBI, yeah, all <laughs> oh, them's corrupt towards China and Biden. But it's all starting to come out. I like Dan Bongino. I don't know if you're listening. Yeah. Oh, I like Dan Bongino. He, you know, ex-CIA, ex-military and all. He'll tell you exactly how it is. They shut him down on Facebook, all kinds of places. He's still out there on Rumble. Yeah. I okay. Like to to I got Rumble too. I like listening to him. Well, I appreciate your time, man. You say you got Rumble.